I'm recording now. I just wanted to hear the uh, uh, the uh, the idea that you're proposing uh, on uh, uh, giving a running balance of transactions. Yeah. You want me? You want me to not record? Well, see if it makes sense to you. Um, so, you know, from the transaction history, which only gives source, destination, and then the amount, you know, you add a couple columns so that you're keeping a running running balance as you progress through the history. Right. So I got I got that working, and and it's completely correct. Uh, then I create another running balance to keep score only of the, uh, the, the tainted rock. Right. So it's just, I mean, in a spreadsheet, it's a lot of, uh, you know, index match lookup kind of, kind of stuff. Right. And this, uh, actually that's what I wanted to do to, uh, with the, uh, uh, SQL implementation that uh, Rich and I have been working on. Uh, I guess Rich doesn't understand why we want those extra columns, but uh, uh, it, we, it would let us see clearly what was going on. Um, let me just uh, put an announcement in here that we're having this meeting. People don't know. Uh, But um, we have uh, uh, a second version working more or less, but um, I'm keep, I keep uh, track of the total rock that somebody holds is the valid rock and the scam rock. And every time I do a transaction, I move a portion of uh, the uh, good rock and uh, 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 the scam rock and the proportions they are in the, in the file. So this is a different technique altogether uh, uh, than what uh, uh, it's not the, exactly the same as what Greg is proposing. And uh, uh, like I said, want, want, would want to do that also. Uh, but so for some reason, I end up uh, I'm ending up with uh, uh, losing like uh, uh, a lot of scam rock, and I uh, so obviously I have a bug somewhere. Yeah, I, I was having the same trouble. Now, in the case where, um, uh, you know, where people are getting, essentially, they're getting 7%. You know, when they withdraw from uh, Qcoin, they get 7% uh, add coins, 7.5% generally. Um, in the, the new version, I only reduce the good rock from the uh, Qcoin accounts. And it's... And um, uh, so the number of scam rocks should never, should not be reduced at all. <laughs> uh, hey, Jim, can I ask you a question? Is that when you say 7.5%, is that somebody who bought rock on KuCoin or for anybody who had rock on KuCoin, whether they bought it somewhere else or not? Uh, it's ed anybody who withdrew, who d withdrew from their uh, deposit on KuCoin. So, so they either could have put it on there, okay. you know, they could have actually deposited it on KuCoin. So we're penalizing people who may not have bought any rock on KuCoin. Okay, just wanted to be clear. Well, I mean, if they deposited it on there, you know, they, you know, it's it's questionable as to whether they should have known that's not a, a safe thing to do. <laughs> yeah, but if I bought rock two years ago and wanted to move it to KuCoin, I'm going to get penalized. 
when I take it out. Right. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, um, uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get that done. I want to, uh, I mean, almost, uh, with that change that I made, it seems like almost nobody's getting penalized. Um, of course, it's still got a bug. Uh, okay. I don't know if you're interested, but you can see. Um, uh, so we have uh, the uh, The, uh, the uh, results from ending, and we can see in this case, it's almost all zeros. And most every, all the accounts get, get zero uh, scam rock. Whereas in the first case, uh, well, uh, I guess you can't see obviously but the number of accounts that have scam rock is much greater. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing the results and then figuring out exactly what Greg's going to do. You know, I have a problem with the technique is because, you know, that there's, back and forth transfers between these accounts. And, you know, it's like, he's saying, oh, first time they get bad rock, okay, we set a percentage and then we use that. Well, now they get scam rock again. Now, uh, how do we combine the percentage of scam rock they had before and the percentage they have now so that we can always, you know, use that same percentage when we transfer money out? Uh, uh, and it may be because uh, the way I'm looking at it, um, and I need to go over uh, uh, his figures, but um, what I'm doing now is using the current percentage of good rock versus scam rock. The current percentage, so that when they transfer rock to another account, the good rock and the scam rock they send will have that exact same percentage. Except from the Qcoin accounts where only good rock, valid rock is transferred and Qcoin gets to keep all the scam rock. Scam rock. Which makes sense to me. <laughs> I think that's what the community wants. But we'll, you know, I want to we'll compare it to what Greg comes up with, which should be very soon. Yeah. Have you been in touch with him? Uh, a little bit. Um, I mean, he claims that he claims that I'm not having parity between the uh, uh, good rocks and the scam rocks, and there, you know, there has to be parity the way I'm doing it. I mean. It, I don't change the numbers at all, you know, uh, for when, I mean, I still have the same number of valid and scam rocks after every transaction. I, it never changes. So it's conserved, you know. Uh, I was thinking he doesn't understand what I'm doing because I don't think he would say that, that there's no parity. So I haven't bothered him much yet. Yeah, me, me <laughs> again, I want to. I want to. I want to get the good results before I uh, bother him. <laughs> yeah, I know he's been pretty busy uh, yeah. on this. 
But you can take a look at his repo. It looks like he's got right. a couple ways now. Yeah. Let's see if I can understand what he did. Um, so I think he's he's likely to I mean, hopefully he's going to finalize everything uh, within the hour and then uh, post and announce in the debrief because that would that would set us up for uh, the the target launch time on Friday with a 48 hour review in between. Hey, uh, Jim, I asked this question and I couldn't get it. No, nobody seems to know, but what's the total dollar amount of scam coins? Um, uh, well, I'm sure you, you, we give you a better number. What's about 90, 90 million? No dollar amount. Oh, well, at what price? A penny? <laughs> 12 and a half cents? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's the question, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and then, so Barcelona was 400. So let's, if we do it in rock, Barcelona was 400,000 rock. And how much is Pythia? Uh, um, I thought it was, I thought it was 11 million, but that doesn't add up. I don't know. So are you, are you using those two amounts as the total scam coin? Um, or tainted? No, coin? no, not exactly. Uh, okay. What we have, uh, is, uh, uh, let me, uh, let me lock and freeze the titles. Oh, one. Um, okay, so okay, so it got the seventy million by uh, uh, changing the scam tokens. Anything deposited in the Barcelona account becomes scam. Uh, tokens and all of the Apithia account is initially scam. So when you add those up, uh, we get 69,000, uh, 69 million, I think. But tokens. Okay, now in my second calculation, um, I lost some, <laughs> which means I have an error and I have to find it, but, uh, uh, if anyone wants to see their scam, uh, I'm out, uh, I can put that, I'll put the address in here in the chat and hopefully that when I, when I no longer lose any scam tokens, that second sheet should be the one that the uh, uh, that I think the the members want, and that's the one that I'll be arguing with Greg about, unless Greg can show me that his method is better. I just probably don't really understand his method. But, uh, I have something to compare it with. Um, but um, I definitely uh, uh, want to, uh, uh, at each transaction, show the, 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 the uh, valid and, and scam tokens for the the from and the to account uh, so that we can see exactly what's happening with every transaction um, uh, what we uh, but basically this is transact sql which i thought would be 
because it's pretty well typed. It's not, I don't know, the typing is not that good, I guess, because I've had some problems with it, but everything is strongly typed. And it also supports uh, a lot of, you know, like 39, des 39 uh, decimal numbers with uh, 39 places, nine decimal places or whatever. Uh, and, you know, back in 2008, I was pretty much uh, an expert in Transact SQL, but uh, basically I'd forgotten it. Yeah. Google everything. It's changed a little bit <laughs> since 2008. Yeah. So, um, but uh, yeah, if anyone wants to help me with that, I, uh, you know, or watch, I'll probably be working on that later. Um, is, uh, sanity checks. I do have the, uh, I do, I did put the uh, file in. Uh, in the uh, uh, rep to rock the the uh, SQL file in the rep to rock number. Although it's it's been improved since there. If you want to look at it, I'll say, I'll give you a fresh copy. All right, whatever. I guess I should put it somewhere. Put it on uh, GitHub. So, um, what topics are on people's minds? Anything, uh, any questions, uh, thoughts, concerns? Uh, um, uh, uh, do we have a lottery of when, uh, when we think that uh, this will all be resolved and uh, mainnet will finally be released? Uh, to some extent, you know, we could release it right now, but um, uh, the community reaction to uh, the uh, the scam rock. I mean, they, the community hasn't really been involved. I mean, I'm trying to make sure that, um, in essence, that the community is represented, and uh, you know, and they feel good about it. I think. That you know, if we think well, seven percent rock, and you know, if we get bad blood with our members, the rock isn't going to be worth anything. So who cares about the seven percent? It's a uh, uh, penny, you know, penny wise and pound foolish. You know, if if we satisfy the members and they're happy and the rock goes up, then uh, 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 we you know get two hundred percent, five hundred percent, thousand percent. Uh, on uh, uh, on uh, ninety two percent of our rocks, you know. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, hey, yeah, uh, Ralph. So, uh, in any case, I would estimate that. Uh, uh, we'll go to mainnet uh, next Wednesday. That's my, my, you know, they're saying Friday, but uh, I'm skeptical. What's on your mind, Ned, Ian, Daryl, Ralph, Gary? <laughs> No, we lost well, I, I've been looking at community currencies and wallets that allow creation of community currencies and adding members to the community and things like that. I don't know if anybody's been thinking about these sorts of things, but I'm finding there are a lot of them out there. Use.io, the Pillar Project, 
and Hughes I.O. looks great, but I, they, there's no community around it. And I can just find a few developers involved with it, and, and I haven't been successful in communicating with them. I don't think they're interested in users at this point. They're, they're interested in um, developers and investors. And I've heard they they got 30, 30 million in revenue uh, or in uh, investment stake. Um, but another that the pillar wallet. Uh, I mean, they have a community around them of like two thousand people. They have a Telegram channel with two thousand members in it, and um, just. I'm asking, you know, I'm trying to think how did a community token wallet project get 22,000 uh, people following it in a Telegram channel? I mean, uh, anyway, uh, so that's what I've been thinking about a lot lately. The other thing on my mind is we've got a, gover a governance meeting tomorrow. It might be a, it might be an important one, but I have, I can't be there. So is, is my proxy vote needed for anything? Is there anything probably, on the? Probably not. Um, uh, if, uh, uh, if we need your vote, uh, 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 the, the final decision will be made whenever you get back on, whatever, or when, you know, whenever we get enough votes, it doesn't have to be during the meeting. Okay. Um, I've got a funeral to go to. Yeah, we don't have anything on in the uh, in the agenda, so <laughs> right now, <laughs> so it's unlikely you'll be needed. Uh, I guess it, you know, it would be on on the agenda. There might be an issue about uh, about the scam tokens, but I don't know what that will be. It's uh, uh, yeah. We might talk about a, a way to come up with uh, a solution, and and it it might involve proposals like. We're, we're seeing in the Rev to Rock channel, uh, and then uh, having the community vote on it in some way. Yeah, well, I, I would be hope that I would have the two ways that I modeled done, and uh, the, uh, it looks like Greg's going to have two or three ways of his own. So well, um, among these five ways, <laughs> uh, but it what, doesn't. You know, what, what what will make the community? What, what will make the rock holders the happiest? Yeah, and and I don't see uh, going to main net before this is resolved, though. Right. Right. Which is, is if we, we can resolve it in a governance meeting tomorrow, then we can release on Friday. I'm just uh, skeptical. Um, what was I doing? Oh, um, what was it, that wallet that you were talking about? Tor wallet? Fuse wallet. Fuse oh, Fused wallet. What's the tw two thousand members? Is that fused? That's not fused. That's pillar project. P i l l a r. Oh, pillar. Yes, pillar. I could have sworn I bought some pillar, but I can't find it. Yeah, PLR is their token. I, I did. I never bought it. I. I just. I've never heard of them, and all of a sudden they show up on the radar with. Thousand members in a Telegram channel. Well, if they got all that money, of course they're going to have it. But you know, as as uh, as soon as the capitalists come in, 
Um, according to uh, Doug Rushkoff, the organization pivots and it no longer will have its original purpose. That's maybe a very negative view, but it certainly, uh, uh, certainly happened with Scenario and uh, uh, a lot of other projects that were funded, and even you know open source projects that are funded. They're funded. They uh, they pivot. Um, so that's sort of the damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, and uh, one of the reasons that I am so on board with our chain being a cooperative and being controlled by the members, even though decentralized control is a hard problem that nobody solved and we don't know how to do it. And uh, uh, it's all an experiment. But it's what we're about, decentralized control. Isn't that an oxymoron? In a sense, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if all, if all, if all, if you're, all of the nodes in your organism are autonomous, then by definition, they're not controlled. But that doesn't mean they don't cooperate. So control becomes cooperative. And, and you know, um, there has to be motivation to cooperate. And uh, I always liked your, uh, your, your, hypothetical title declaration of interdependence yeah well i wrote one back in the 90s you know <laughs> oh yeah yeah is there can i see it somewhere um i'm sure you can i hope i go um i think it's on wiki world you know wiki world I just had a couple of lifetimes. I, you know, it's a really cool domain I own, but uh, it's uh, in pretty uh, sad shape. Hmm. I had, I, we had another version of it that was done on uh, uh, this Wiki Farm site. What do they call it? Wiki. Well, in any case. They went out of business. Hmm. So now I, now I have backups of their site on a file somewhere. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with it someday. Unfortunately. So, uh, 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 what? I don't have declaration of interdependence here. Jeez. When you go to Wikipedia, it comes up. Um, not your thing, but. Yeah. I guess it's a term that's been around. Not really. I mean, not, uh, it, it wasn't at the time I wrote mine. <laughs> um. That's really interesting. Declaration, declaration of independence. Where did I write that? Where 
originally. If you will. Um, let me uh, search here. Uh, where's the I search? Found it. You found oh, it? You found it? Yeah, you want to share my screen? Yeah, why don't you uh, why don't you uh, put the link in? In the chat. Okay, so the last version was 2002. Interesting. Okay, in my first version, I thought Federal Reserve System was a great idea. <laughs> I'm going to stop. An example of, of stop. how to do things right. <laughs> I'm going to put, put the link in the channel. By, by 2002, I realized that uh, uh, that uh, that wasn't exactly right. I probably got, a, you know, probably a lot of the other stuff I say in here is dated back to the 90s, early 90s. Well, I'm going to enjoy reading this later today. Yeah, I turned. I was the only one that ever signed it. <laughs> huh. Cooperative diversity. Oh, newsip.org. Yeah. That's, um, that's, you know, uh, uh, goes back to the new Civ goes back to the beginning of the internet, pretty much. I mean, the beginning of the web. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm getting confused as to what the guy's name is. I think, uh, uh, some of the people from New Civ are pretty well known today on Facebook, anyway. <laughs> How do you spell that? New Civ. Look at uh, the links in the chat. New Civ. Oh. New Civ. Uh, N e w c i v dot org. The, the, the site's been totally inactive for years. There's nothing new there. <laughs> I think my, I don't know, last I looked anyway. Uh, last I looked anyway, my item was one of the last items content put on there, this one. Um, Oh, now there's stuff 2016, 2015. It still looks like 90s, doesn't it? Yeah, it's 2016. But this is an example of a great thing that there's no good reason why it didn't take off, and we didn't create a new civilization. Except nobody, nobody agreed. <laughs> we couldn't agree. We all had different language. Oh, I thought I was sharing. Um, hey, HJ. Uh, this is the. Uh, uh, Renewsiv.org, and uh, uh, the uh, dec my Declaration of Independence. H.J., it's good to see you, or see your uh, yeah. icon anyway. I'm, uh, I'm wondering why, when we know 
that the video will uh, uh, help create a collective intelligence and uh, 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 and everyone agrees that it's a good idea to turn your video on at least while you're talking. Uh, why are people are tending not to do it? Do they do? Do they don't want to act collectively in a wise manner? Is that you know they want to keep that separation? They don't want this collect. They're afraid of the collective intelligence. They don't want it to emerge. I mean, I can't experience it really because I'm such a divergent thinker. You know, I don't. I don't understand the common sense at all. I'm an outlier. But it took a while, you know, before somebody actually told me that uh, uh, that I was a lousy cooperator. That's how they put it. And that was what I've yeah, been Jeff, working on for 20 years was cooperation. Yeah, Jim, you still assume that uh, collective intelligence is going to be a good thing. And uh, I'm sure everybody here read Lord of the Flies. What is that? What am I, am I assuming? What, every time you talk about collective intelligence, you assume it's going to inure to the benefit of everybody and be for a positive change. Well, um, and, and if, it's, I, if it's not, that's, that's what we have today, collective stupidity. Uh, okay. You know, <laughs> yes, we have a collective mind, a collective being, right, but right. it's stupid. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I don't think we can help having that collective mind. Okay. So I'm just saying. You know, we yeah. all we need to do is look at history. I know, but yeah, and you know, and I can look at our research that showed that you could have a collective intelligence where the solution to problems of of the group could be better than the best individual solution, where you're actually getting. Uh, doing something that the individuals couldn't do alone. Uh, perhaps. Anyway, here's a, uh, this, okay. this was brought up in our last hour on Dig Life, Augmenting Society's Collective IQ. Ah. I'll put the link in the channel if anybody's in, interested. Yeah. Um. I think that there are just as many examples of collective intelligence in our history. Um, the discovery of music um, led us to uh, social coordination that made us the humans that we are. Um, you can list all sorts of examples of Lord of the Flies type doom and gloom, but you can also list all sorts of examples of what got us here. and. Um, um, we're all alive still. <laughs> the population is growing. Um, yeah. I think I th the Constitution of the United States is a, an example of collective intelligence. And, and I would argue the Republicans have trampled it, and that's also an example of collective intelligence. I'd call that collective stupidity, but... Yeah, yeah but I that's a too. judgment call. That's a judgment call. I'm just saying, it's, you know, if you look at it either way... Yeah, well, you know... I mean, we're not dealing, you know, I mean, I don't, I guess the, the whole is, idea of not on, working on, together and on, working as us and them is on. collective stupidity. But you call it whatever you want. I'm just saying, I guess my point is that that is not what's going to solve our problems. Yeah, Whether we have to work together. We can't, we well, can't on, be divided. Hold on, hold, on, hold on. Whether it's collective or individual, neither one is the answer to solve the problems. That's, that's my perspective. As long as we're divided again, we're fighting against each other. We're not. We're not. We we're not exhibiting a collective intelligence. And what we you know this whole division fifty fifty, that is, we're trained like chickens to mm -hmm. keep uh, is, uh, is totally ineffective and unintelligent. There's no intelligence to it. Intelligence means that. You 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 get the outcome that you're looking for. You solve the problems that we're, you're facing. You know, we measure intelligence by the quality of the solution. All right. That's okay. the way we anyway. measure. 
I should that's the way we measure collective intelligence. Oh, I'm going to go on mute now. Yeah. The quality of the solution is the measure of collective intelligence. You can't say that something that doesn't work is collective intelligence. That's collective stupidity. I totally disagree with you, Jim, but that's okay. I mean, right? Isn't that my collective right to disagree? Sure. You yeah. Have your own definition of collective intelligence that's different from mine. But then we're not, you know, we have, unless we resolve that difference, we're not going to exhibit any collective intelligence. But if, as government is an example of our collective intelligence, its, its failures are also, uh, should be uh, spur, spur us towards uh, uh, refining that, that uh, thing that we've created to, um, to prevent the type of failures that you're you're pointing out, Ned, and and I do agree that the system is failing us right now. Yeah, I mean, if we call what's happening in government collective intelligence, you know, then we're saying that any behavior that, no matter how destructive, no matter how wrong it is, is intelligent, and I, I just can't see that. Yeah, but then you're injecting value judgments. Anyway, it's a long, complicated conversation, and, uh, yeah, and, and I, I know yeah, you're passionate yeah, you about have, it, and I don't really feel like getting yeah. into it. Yeah, I, you I, have to have some values, like the survival of the species. Um, yeah. Okay, it sounds good. I H -H thought, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I thought uh, Maynard was going live today. Yeah, well, you should have talked to me. I, I, I knew it would be late. <laughs> it's supposed to be Friday now, and I, I'm guessing next Wednesday. Okay. Uh, basically, so, you, have to, you know, the, the issue is, how do we deal with the scam tokens? Okay, we could go yeah. live today, but I think we're going to piss people off whatever we do with the scam tokens. Well, we could go live today is one of our solutions, and we could say uh, as long as everyone was willing to segregate some some portion of their their rocks as being um, scam, and but that's open to negotiation. We could we could do that now, but I think you're I, I think to do that. Go live now before you resolve this problem is is asking for uh, many more problems and and hence other solutions need to be proposed and then somehow voted on by the community before we go live and I don't see that happening by Friday either. Well, uh, you know, I think we have, we, we sort of have a consensus of the people in the Rep to Rock channel as to the approach they want right now, but we haven't really evaluated uh, what Greg is doing. So, I mean, I'm uh, finishing up the calculation of what I think the members are saying they wanted. And then go back and see if that's what, if that's what they wanted. And, also, I have to resolve with Greg. I mean, we wanted this to be the collective intelligence, right? So if, if we have differences, the first thing we do in the collective intelligence best practice is work one-on-one. -on -one. We develop a cons consensus one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and uh, we can bring other people in. Uh, that's the way intelligence arises from the bottom up, not from the top down. So currently, do you feel that the the dialogue um, is best happening on the Rock to Rev channel of Discord? Um, well, that's where the, the, the concerned people are. Mm -hmm. People that aren't concerned with it, you know, uh, uh, 
if we include them in any vote, it's proven to be to make the decision worse. Yeah, you want informed decisions. Right. Um, and I would say that there's a large amount of the membership aren't really concerned about it. Um, but we, and I, I we, don't think they need to be really <laughs> right. But, but we do uh, want to does, make everybody as happy as we can. Yeah. It, it does concern the members at large in that it is a precedent for dealing with rock holders and, and, uh, and possibly co-op members. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, here's why I say it doesn't matter. And I, I put, said that in the channel too, I think. Any scam rock that anybody that we attribute to anybody is going to go back to the co-op. So we have forever, basically, to decide whether whether we should, are going to return that scam rock to them as you know, rev or not. Okay, on the day of just because we treated that scam rock on the day. Uh, that we uh, release main that doesn't mean that some other time we can't issue it back to that account if we decide collectively that that's the right thing to do. We're not stuck, you know, we're not stuck with the decision. You know, we can withhold this, this that things scam rock now in the possibility that we, that we decide to to uh, uh, to donate it to the co-op. Where can you see the results of the taint analysis? Of Greg's analysis? I haven't looked at it yet. He, um, actually, I wanted to finish mine and then compare them. So Jim, based on what you just said, who controls the private keys to the tainted wallet? Uh, it's probably a multi sig. No, I mean they're going to set it up in the uh, in the uh, in the Genesis block. And the, they're they're actually embedding it into the smart contract. It's going to yeah, it'll be it'll be in the Genesis ceremony. But it's going to be if you embed the private key in the smart contract. No, no, no. The key's not there. It's a multi sig okay. wallet. So okay. then I'm, I'm okay. assuming it has it has no key. Okay. Well, there has to be a private key. So I'm assuming that the multi-sig wallet is going to be controlled by the co-op. I, I, you know, on Ethereum, contracts have no key. There's no key anywhere. For the, then how do you, so then how do you get it out? You get to send it there. How do you get it out? Uh, you can't, unless the contract has a method. Okay, so I'm just trying to drill down into your statement that you just made that at some point in the future, the co-op or the community can determine to send the rock, the rev back out. But if nobody is in control, how can that happen? Yeah, There's a multi-sig wallet. There's a multi-sig wallet. Yeah, so who controls the multi-sig wallet? That's exactly that's right. A, that's right. a good, good point, Ned, and it probably needs to be brought up in the governance meeting because that, that's probably something that's going to have to be handled by the community. Right. All of the co-op's co wallets have to be controlled by multi-sigs. And okay. who has permission, you know, is something that uh, okay, so that's really is ultimately important. going to be decided by governance. Okay, I mean, but, one, but no, but Jim, no. Who has control today of the multi-sig? Isn't it uh, Greg, Ian, and Lilia? I think so, yeah. Okay, so that's not the community. That's people who work for our chain. Right. right. So, but, but I'm saying that this process looks to be involved enough that the, the special complaints or the, you know, the handling of special cases, that it's going to have to be delegated to the community because I don't yeah. think well, three key holders can handle it. It's okay. a and ultimately, you know, we, we can vote to do anything we want. Okay. But nothing has been decided. Fun. Gotcha. But nothing has been decided yet. So I'm imagining that as of now, if we do the Genesis block, that multi and the tainted rock is put into an R chain controlled wallet. That's exactly my point. The wallet is controlled by Greg and the co-op, not the community. Right. 
And, okay. you know, and, so I just want to be our, clear. Our, you know, if they do something. Uh, we shouldn't we, tell people that going forward, if the community wants it, that tainted rock could be returned because that's not true because nobody in the community is in possession of those private keys. The private keys are in possession of the co-op. So it's really the co-op that's going to have to decide. Which is a cooperative. Yeah, but it's, it's ultimately not. controlled by the members. It's not though. It is. And, and I'm just, I'm, I'm proving it. And, and I don't see why it's such an issue right now. Well, there's nobody you know, in the community. And, 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 you know, right now, there's nobody in the community who has control of the private keys to the tainted rock wall. So therefore, we shouldn't yeah. be telling people. We can, we, but we can control them with a special meeting in two weeks or a month. And then you have to get it. So a month from today, fine. They, they and what happens people, if the co-op? different people in control of the Jim, money. Jim, let me finish, please. Meeting. Jim, Jim, let me finish. And what happens if the community First, they have to get some kind of IOB, which the board can vote down. Then, let's say they pass it, the board can still override it. And so, ultimately, we are not exhibiting decentralized properties because now this multi-sig wallet is in total control of the co-op. And it would take the co-op to agree to the consensus, not that the consensus has the power, it's the co-op that has the power and then has to agree yeah. to allow the consensus to override. And if somebody in the co-op decides they don't agree with this, then that's going to override everything in the community. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So you know, if and, you want to make, the statement, certainly if, if, if you if make the statement that the rock, the rev could be returned out of the tainted wallet at some point in the future, that's fine, but we should all be clear that that must be a decision of the co-op and not the community. So if we had a spe held a special meeting and the members voted to change the, the, the owners of the, those wallets, you think the, the board is going to say, fuck you, we're not going to uh, do that? We already rolled back IOB 5. And I'm not saying it wasn't uh, warranted. I'm just saying we should have pretend where the power right. lies. And, and, and did anybody uh, did anybody protest that we rolled back IOB five? Nobody I don't know. protested I think there were. because because the situation had clearly changed. Okay. Anyway, that's yeah, just that my point. We need to be careful. That, that wouldn't be the case with Jim. We just the, need to be careful the, the, when the, we say the membership deciding what to do with the but Jim. Rock. You're talking hypotheticals, and while they may be all good and great, it's their hypotheticals until there's some governance document that describes exactly what you said, and the board agrees to it. And so, without that, it's really just hypotheticals. Well, and so know, we shouldn't get that, people's hopes up that at some point in the future, their tainted rev by by uh, decree of the community can get returned to everybody. That's all I'm saying is, you know, we just need to be careful the expectations we set of people. Well, that's, you know, true. And, you know, I, I think if, in, in, but unless we have the expectation that as Greg declared in the beginning that it may take three years, but eventually we would have decentralized control. And that's the direction of the co-op. And unless we're thinking that way, it's never going to happen. Well, all I'm telling you is the actions that we've exhibited in the last year and a half, do not uh, uh, prote uh, uh, do not foreshadow a really decentralized uh, co-op blockchain. And so now everybody has to have faith that we're going to switch. Uh, one last right. thing before we close. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like a lot of for the governance meeting on, on third on tomorrow that I can't make. But uh, Ned, we missed you in the art on the blockchain this week because we Yeah, I had another meeting. Yeah, I know Eric had uh, pinged me. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. But anyway, we wanted to talk about the, the project uh, you were mentioning the art uh, Oh arterial. Yeah, arterial. Yeah. All right, well next week. Okay. Yeah. 
Cool. All right, it's time for the other meeting. All right, thanks, guys. Bye, everybody. Jim, that was great. <laughs> I, uh, I I wanted to chime in there, but uh, time time ran out. But I, I found that really fascinating because to me, um, the uh, uh, what you two are arguing about was the current realities versus what our ambitions are. To me, that's what you guys were arguing yeah. about, and, and and you know Ned's absolutely right about the current reality. Um, we have a long way to go. Um, yeah. But um, but you know, I totally my, my agree with you that it, it has to start with uh, with 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 uh, hope <laughs> and and a plan for you we know have how to, to. We have to be the change. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Otherwise, it's never going to happen. I mean, like I've been doing this collective intelligence things for how many years now? Since the seventies. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I keep learning and un unearthing more layers of what what you've been doing. It's amazing. You know, yeah, you know, it took me like 30 years to realize that I, you know, the problem was I'm a lousy cooperator. Well, I don't think so. I think it's. I understand, all... you know, I understand it because I, yeah. you know, I participated in the research. I, you know, I, I got more mm -hmm. insight than there, you know, a lot more insight than was ever published. Right. Uh yeah, I, I, I can totally understand your frustration. <laughs> well, not totally. I can get a glimpse into understanding your yeah, frustration. Well, uh, it's like a whole, you know, I mean, it's, where we're going is a whole new paradigm in so many ways. It's not surprising yeah. that it's a hurdle to get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. We're, and, and that's what I was going to kind of chime in and say, like, the standard concept of a co-op and how it's been structured over the years and the traditions of a co-op, um, they are pretty centralized. I mean, members have, members do have a, an ability at least to kind of vote on things. That's one thing that's unique about it, but most co-ops, you only, ha you only have one vote a year and it's usually on just a two or three few things. And it's generally run by a president and a board. Um, but I think that we're here to redefine that. Um, and I think we're, we're building the technological tools in theory um, that will help uh, create more of a sociocratic methodology of decision making where we're going to be more active. We're not going to just have these one votes a year. We're going to have like, you know, uh, methodologies involved in, in, in coming to consensus about all sorts of decisions yeah. so, that the, the, so that the control, uh, the word control, I always control, anyway, the, the uh, let's use the word control, the control doesn't happen as top down as it already, as it is in most co ops Well, you know, I mean, it's, there is the aspect of top down control, which goes back to the thing. The board doesn't decide anything. All as it does is delegate to the committees. Right. Committees don't do anything. All as they do is delegate to the working groups. <laughs> yeah, I've always liked that. It's always, I always, Try to remind myself of what you what you your kind of point whenever you repeat that because it's really important I think to kind of understand that that concept of how to decentralize right yeah yeah and um, and uh, uh, you know and it's a gradual process getting there I mean it's you know we have you know the board can't really delegate to the members today. Uh, much, but it can start, you know, one step at a time, one foot in front of the yeah. other. And, and that's what I want to try to help be involved with as a board member, is try yeah. to help implement um, the stuff that you've been talking about. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you, uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad you came to the plate. <laughs> well, thanks, Jim. Thanks. Sometimes I wonder whether, uh, <laughs> whether I'm qualified, but I, I, I'm definitely, I definitely have a, a why attached to, you know, my involvement and, and, and uh, I, I want, I want, to me, it's super important now that we're, now that we're kind of going through this shift um, in such a, such a state where we're so sporadic and, and we're just by basically starting over. I think that it's important that we start over correct by construction. <laughs> 
governance wise. Um, well, why, and, why is and, your why is your camera off? Oh, I just I'm in my pajamas and it's kind of gross in the background and I kind of am, I'm ashamed of my of my <laughs> dirty dirty room. <laughs> um, well, when, but you know, when people are hiding, they're not cooperating. I guess it's just you and me now, but we're recording, aren't we? Um, there, here's my really mess. Fine. Really absolutely fine. <laughs> uh, you look wonderful. It's great <laughs> to see you, man. I mean, it's just, we connect. As soon as you did that, it's like we connect. And it it's so true. It's like brain yeah. damage, but the research backs it up. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Yeah, it's, it's okay. very true. Like, you know, it's not enough to know, to do. To, to, you have to actually follow the best practices in order that they're going to work. You can't just know about them. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Um, I'm feeling the urge to jump over to the other call. Yeah, I have now. to jump over. Bye-bye. Okay. See you, Jim. Bye.